In this video, we will see how we can able to understand the different versions of PCM600 and the compatibility between the connectivity packages and type of IDs and different type of versions that belong to the different type of IDs. It is highly recommended to use the latest version of PCM600 when we are working with ABB make protection control and automation IDs. And we can able to see from the help section post opening the PCM600 ID configuration tool there you can able to reach the help menu from the main menu there you can select the about PCM600 option there you can able to see the version of the currently installed PCM600 that I open so at the moment we have the version 2.11 and you can also able to expand the connectivity package options there we can able to see the activated connectivity package for the different ID um, model that I have installed and activated. So I have installed the latest version of 670 series connectivity package, which is 3.4.1.0. And I also installed um, some of the medium voltage um, connectivity package for REF615 and REC640 and some more ID types that you can able to see here. So how we can able to understand do we have the latest version of um, connectivity package that we have installed and activated? So before that, we also need to know we should also install the latest outfix. Um, that also we can able to see where we can able to get. There is a separate video also available how we can able to download the outfix and apply it to the specific PCM600 software version. You can also refer to that in case if you need more information on this case. So once you install the PCM600 host application, then we need to install the latest hotfix if it is applicable for a specific version. And then as a step two, if you are working with the high voltage protection control ID, you need to have the dedicated confetti package, the latest version. On top of that, we also need to install the, the ID modules for the specific ID type, depending on the ID model that you have. And then in case of medium voltage um, protection control automation IDs, the connectivity package is specific to each model and that we can also able to see. Let me give OK here and accept. We can able to go from the help menu again. There we can able to start from the update manager. So it will ask us to go with the administrator privilege. So we need to accept it so that it tries to connect to the ABB Finland server. You can able to see in the left left side bottom of the screen. It's trying to connect to the available server. Let's click, try to connect to the Finland server where we do maintain the, the different type of um, resource file where we can able to connect from our PC. Um, so in order to work with update manager online, we need to use the internet access on our PCM600 install PC or where we can able to um, have the update manager opened. Then we can able to go to the advanced setting. If it is selected by default basic, it's always recommended to go with advanced setting to get more information when we are working with update manager. So these are the folders where the files will be deployed by default. And this is also important for us because in this video, we will see more information about the, the compact on the PCM600 IED version dependency matrix, which are available in this particular folder. And then there are some add-ons. So when you are working with specific manufacturer, specific make IED, uh, particularly the type of IED, you can able to download the different type of IEC, NC document. So the pre-configuration help us to understand the different type of topology for a different type of base and bus bus scheme. And then we can also able to see the access point where our PC used to connect to download the resource file online. Coming back to the topic, which is uh, the software updates. And we can able to see the recommendation, whatever the 
ID modules connectivity package that has been installed already, we could able to see the, the recommendation from the update manager. And to make sure do we need to update, so you can able to go to the home page once the internet access is available on your PC, the page will update the latest uh, releases. For example, in this case, uh, beginning of this month, there is a new version of connectivity package version release. In case if it is applicable for you, you can able to go to the get software packages. There you can able to see the different um, ID series and you can able to expand, for example, if you're working with 670 series model, you can able to expand the connectivity package. I have already installed. If you didn't install it, and if you are required to install, you can able to enable this and you can able to enable in the top level and you can, even you can able to expand the each ID type and the version that you really need, including the ID documentation, basically the user documentation that has the different type of manuals, like technical manual, application manual, operation manual, so basically deployment guide and the communication protocols. So many different type of manuals can be gettable by downloading uh, the user documentation for a specific make ID or type ID. So you can able to minimize. So this is how we can able to select and download so I will go to the point here, the settings. Let's go to the folder. I will copy this folder and then press Windows R, Control V, and then there you can able to see. I have reached to the uh, default directory of Windows, Program Data, ABB, Update Manager, and Download folder. And here we can able to see the update files folder inside that there is a dependency matrix for different type of connectivity package and for example uh, i will take an example of um, pcm 600 670 connectivity package dependency matrix so i will right click and then send it to xml marker xml marker is a open source um, or free uh, where software the 1.1 version you can able to easily download from online. I can also provide you the link in the description. You can able to directly download the free version. So you can able to see from the help section about XML marker. The 1.1 version is freeware and you can able to still use it to understand the basic information that is really required at the moment. So you can able to see the different type of category. You can even able to expand the tree and there are important information so let's start from the pcm 600 compact version supported so at the moment the maximum version which are which is officially released to the market is 2.11 version of pcm 600 and the recommended connectivity package for this particular pcm 600 version is 3410 and again, if you want to know further um, for different versions, for example, if you are using 2.8 and then the maximum compact version supported for a dedicated version of PCM 600 is 3.3.00. And you can also use the same compact version for 2.9, but I always highly recommend to use the latest version of PCM 600 and the latest version of connectivity package as well for a specific um, model ID. And further, once we know the right PCM 600 and the recommended or dedicated compact version, let's go to the compact version hardware support. So here we have an additional option. So if you are having compact version um, 3.4.1.0, which is recommended, and then what we need to also see here, there are different um, variants. You can also um, see here, you know, 670 um, series has different type of IDs, buzzword protection, REB, and the Bay control unit, REC, and the RED is a differential protection ID. 
and REG generator protection and the line distance protection and railway application protection, phase the measurement uh, unit, the synchronizer ID and the transformer protection ID. So these are the different variants that you can able to see. And then let's come back to the ID compact. And you can also even expand the ID compact version. And then you can further go to the variants. Let's for example, I'll go back to the compact version ID supported. Here we can able to see the under the compact hardware version supported. Uh, for example, if we install 3410 compact, the latest version of Confidio package for 670, and further if you expand it. So what are the different type of hardware version supported? You can able to further expand it. The latest version of Connectivity Package 3410 supports all different versions of the ID um, which has been released to the market. Mostly start from the 1.0, which is widely uh, used um, almost 10 years back, you can say. And then some of them are absolute now. So most of the cases we have 1.1, sometimes the 1. B, the older projects and 1.2. So when you have installed the latest version of Compact 3410, you could able to communicate with all different type of versions that you can able to see here. So which is more than sufficient. Basically the latest version of PSIM 600 and the connectivity package version have the backward compatibility for all the release product, including the latest version, which is May, which may be a 2.2.2, 2.2.3, 2.2.4, and at the moment we have 2.2.5 version. So everything is supported. So this is how we can able to see for 670. Similarly, you can able to see for 650 as well. The, the point is very, point looks similar. So let's also, I will explain another tool which may be useful for you tool called simple so this is another tool I will also provide you the link to view the XML file you can able to go to the um, download option there you can able to download 64-bit 64 64-bit compatible version this is for non-commercial use you can able to get the benefit of opening the XML file and understanding it So the download is done. Let's go to the folder. So here is the folder. Let's open the XML file. Sorry, the simple, the tool. It's not an installer. You can directly launch and you can able to just provide the, the input file. Let's provide the path. And there is uh, update files. And let's open 650 here, for example. And this will provide a table view, which is very good for us. If you are a beginner um, to start with XML um, file reading, so you can able to just expand the, the PCM 600 compact version supported. You can see. Uh, let's say um, you can also see the PCM 600 install order, which is also very important when you are working with multiple versions of PCM 600 on a, on a same PC. So we know that um, ABB support um, to install multiple versions of uh, PCM 600 on a single PC, but we also need to know how to install in a right way. So it's always recommended to um, install the lowest version first. That's how it works, and then the higher version next. So if you're having older ID, and project has, projects are um, designed with older version of PCM 600, so you might have installed the older version. Then on top of that, you need to install the latest version. It's not the other way around. You install the latest version first and the, the older version next. So it's always recommended to install the lower version, then the higher version, so that the Supporting software like the SQL server also deploy correctly because 
older version of PCM 600 uses a different version of SQL Server, and it doesn't work properly when you install uh, from higher version to the lower version. So from lower version to the higher version is a recommended one. So in the table, we can able to see the recommended version for PCM 600 2.11, the 670 compact version is 2410. Again, coming back to the compact hardware version supported, you can expand further. So if you have install 2410 compact for 650 ID, you can able to expand the hardware version supported. There you can able to see the 2410 compact uh, of 650 version support different uh, ID versions. Starting from 1.0, you can able to um, manage the latest version of uh, 650 ID, even the 2 to um, 3, 2 to 4 IDs of 650, starting from 1.0. So this is how you can able to easily understand with this tool. So I will just close. I'll try to open another example, which may be a medium voltage, PCM 600, 615 compact. You can able to open multiple XML file in, in one instance. So let's, let's expand the variance. So here you see the 615 medium voltage and protection control automation ID have almost 24 numbers of different types. So let's expand, let's take one example, REF 615, which is widely used. And here you can able to see the hardware version. So you can also see the recommended compact version for the PCM 602.11 for the RDF 615, the, lay, the dedicated compact for 2.11 version of PCM 600 is 5.1.11. And the 5.1.11 having support of different ID versions. You can also able to see it have the support for all different type of IDs. So you can able to also see starting from here. These are the different type of uh, versions that has been released to the market for 615. And you can able to communicate um, all different different type of versions with the latest version of Compact. Even it may be a 4.0 uh, version, you can still able to communicate. So it's recommended to use the latest version of Compaq. Um, that's the whole point here. And in the latest version of Compaq, always having the backward compatibility support for the previous release product. And one important point is sometime if you have old version of uh, ID module and hardware version install, some of the Compact doesn't support 64-bit um, compatible, and you cannot able to open um, PCM 664-bit and communicate the old version of IDs. So in that case, you can able to go to the manage connectivity package and expand PCM 602.11, and there you can able to see. For example, the latest version of Compaq uh, for 670 support um, both PCM 632 bit and 64 bit. If you go back the old version of um, Compaq, it only support the 32 bit uh, PCM 600. In that case, you can actually start from the start menu PCM 600. There will be a PCM 600 2.11 32 bit compatible application that you need to use it when you have old version of IDs. So let me also restore in case if you want to change something. You can able to basically change or activate, deactivate, for example, if you don't want to use some of the Compaq, which is already installed and you don't have an ID, you can able to deactivate simply here. Okay, so that the PCM 600, when it launches, it doesn't load this many libraries that are really not required if you don't have an ID in your project or some of the different project that you work. So this is how you can able to explore the, the dependency matrix for the different um, connectivity package, uh, IED uh, versions, uh, and the type of different IEDs for ABB make um, protection control and automation IEDs.
helps in case if you have any more question you can able to ask in the comment and I will be happy to support you thank you take care bye